Hey guys, in this month's Historical Fiction 101, I'm going to be sharing with you some Frankenstein retellings. So, Frankenstein retellings. I only have six recommendations here, you guys. I was a little shocked and surprised by that. I thought Frankenstein would have been something that had a lot more retellings, but when I was kind of doing my, my research, I noticed there was a lot of Frankenstein retellings that had a, a, a more modern twist to them. They take place in a more contemporary setting, and of course this is Historical Fiction 101. I have to focus on the historical fiction books. So yeah, I managed to find six. Now, before I do get going with these Frankenstein retelling recommendations, a quick note. There is going to be some slight spoilers in this video in regards to uh, Mary Shelley's original Frankenstein. So if you have not read Frankenstein and you don't want any spoilers, you might not want to watch this video. So the first recommendation that I have here is The Casebook of Victor Frankenstein by Peter Aykroyd. And in this book, you have Victor Frankenstein, who is a fictional character. He is meeting up with a real historical figure, Percy Shelley, and the two of them become friends at Oxford University. But of course, Victor Frankenstein, he starts up his weird, crazy experiments to reanimate the dead, so their friendship is put to the test. And also the synopsis says that uh, other uh, historical characters make uh, an appearance like Lord Byron and Mary Shelley herself. So Mary Shelley, if Mary Shelley is making an appearance, I'm assuming the fictional Victor Frankenstein in this book, that's how he's going to inspire her to write her version of the book. <laughs> the next recommendation I have here is This Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal, and this is a YA retelling that follows twins, Victor and Conrad, and Conrad is deathly ill, and Victor really wants to help his brother, so he's searching for the elixir of life. Next, I have Frankenstein's Monster by Susan Hayboer O'Keefe. This book takes place after the events of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and it follows the creature after the death of Victor Frankenstein, and the creature is just living this this life of isolation and hatred, but he's also trying to discover the meaning of life. Next, I have The Memoirs of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Theodore Rozak. So there's a couple different things going on with the synopsis of this book. Let me look at my notes here because it's a little complicated. <laughs> at the start of the book, it looks like it follows Walton, who is the Arctic explorer who finds and helps Victor Frankenstein when Frankenstein's trying to get away from his creation. So it sounds like Walton, he discovers Elizabeth's journal, and Elizabeth being the cousin of Victor. And Walton, he becomes obsessed with reading Elizabeth's journal, because if you have read Frankenstein, you know, uh, Victor is telling his story to Walton. And I think Walton's kind of like, is this guy, is he Stark Raven mad, or is this truth, you know? So it sounds like Walton, he's trying to figure out if the ravings of the Doctor were in fact truth. So what we have, uh, we have Walton, I guess, as the frame narrative, and then within that is Elizabeth's journal, and uh, yeah, just talking about Elizabeth's life as a young woman, and then when she becomes the adopted sister of Victor Frankenstein, and that whole relationship, and their, their blooming romance. <laughs> and yeah, that book actually sounds really good. I would love to pick that up in the future. And then the next recommendation that I have here is This Monstrous Thing by Mackenzie Lee. And this takes place in 1818 Geneva, and it follows this character named Alice Dare, and he's just lost his brother, he's trying to, to bring his brother back from the dead, and then it sounds as if within this span of time, that's when Mary Shelley writes Frankenstein, it's published, it becomes a sensation of a sort, and people are obsessed with the book, and they're trying to discover the real life person who is the inspiration behind her book. Next, I have a YA trilogy called The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. Now, this trilogy, my understanding is that this trilogy 
Um, each book focuses on a work of classic literature. It retells that story. So the first book in the series is actually a retelling of the island of Dr. Moreau. The second book is a retelling of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And then the third book in the series is a retelling of Frankenstein. So yeah, that sounds like a pretty cool trilogy. I'll definitely have to check these out. But yeah, the overall premise for this series, it follows a 16-year-old girl named Juliette Moreau. So yeah, her father, it sounds like, is, is Dr. Moreau from the island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Juliette discovering the truth of her father's madness. So that's it for my Frankenstein retelling recommendations. If I have missed any, please let me know down below. Because <laughs> like I said, I, I just couldn't really find anything, unfortunately. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye guys.